Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, Hopefully welcome. you can hear us. Yes. There is sound going on, so we are good. Yay. Let me adjust this a little bit. Stuff gets moved around during the week. So um, we are we are live. We have we have a production assistant with us now. Mm -hmm. uh, the wonderful Elgato Stream Deck. Compliments of Tabletop Royale. Justin Thanks. needed more sound effects for their stream and sent me over an awesome one. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. Now we got to find enough sounds for all of them. Yeah, all the yeah. buttons. We've we've got some fun ones. We'll see <laughs> if we pull some cards tonight that that elicit those fun ones. Um, we got one for a couple logos cards and one for a Brobnar card <laughs> and, uh, that we aren't going to see. Uh, we got some tide buttons. Good stuff happening. I am going to work on our tide overlay at some point. We're hoping to get a little better at the production on the stream, so um, bear with us as we slowly move forward. But in the meantime, we've got our second display of Dark Tidings. Um, we're going to work on it. Uh, its stream probably won't go super long today. Um, so let's get cracking. Sweet. We've got... Another fresh from Canada. This was compliments of Imaginary Games, not compliments. Of course, they charged me for it, but they were nice enough to ship it down from the Great White North beyond the wall and um, send it to us. Perfect. So Thank you, thank you, people. Ne next time somebody tells you that trade treaties are bad, tell them no, they aren't. Because we got dark tidings before the middle of May. Go for it, Tom. Wonderful people up there. We're right in the middle. I'm right on top. I'm going to get the Evil Twins deck. Good. I, I hope this box is just full Evil Twins. <laughs> nice. 12 of them right here. Yep. Here we go. Pull up my key forge out. Ooh. Did you get another one? Crimson Sarah Mama. <laughs> no, I was just I was just like, that name's awesome. Sarah is in my wife, Sarah. Uh, S A R A. Sarah Mama is one word. One word. Oh, yeah. And man. So not quite close enough. Not a, not enough to convince her to to play Keyforge with you yet, Tom. Oh my goodness. Did you get an evil twin? I did. Nice. Barabus. Stream. Steamtopia Raiders Evil Twin. Nice. Nice, nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Why is it not? There we go. So I've got Unfathomable, Sanctum, and Untamed. You might have like a 20 deck Evil Twin here. Hey, that'd be good. Oh, wait, there's only 12 in here, right? <laughs> yeah, so... I was exaggerating a little. <laughs> you just get excited when you pull one of yeah, these. Yeah, you do. I didn't pull one. from. If you were watching, and if you weren't watching, uh, our last matchup, Clay pulled one, and then drew five of them in his first hand. No, four. Was it four your first hand? Uh, yeah. And then yep. pulled another couple cards from the same house in the next few hands. It was like... He just murdered me. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really a match. Okay, I'm already liking what this Untamed showing me. I have Untamed, Witch, un Key Frog, Fathomable, and Saurian. In fighting, which is good for killing um, Key Frog. Each creature deals damage equal to its power to its right neighbor. Nice. So you always hope you don't have very many of those Gloriana's attendants. As it NK, hey, how's it going, man? Hey, welcome. Uh, going okay. Just opening up the first one. Ooh, all tied up is pretty cool. What does that do? Uh, it's got an amber pip. If the tide is high, gain one. Otherwise, raise the tide. Old go. Patty, discard the bottom card of your deck or the bottom three cards instead. If the tide is high, play each creature discarded this way one at a time. So you're grabbing from the bottom and you get to play the creatures. 
All right, start over on that one. That one had a lot in okay. it. Okay. Reap. Yep. Discard the bottom card of your deck. Okay. Or the bottom three cards if the tide is high. Oh, okay. Play each creature discarded this way one at a time. Doesn't have to be untamed. Nope. And it's not put into play. It's play. Nice. And you um, got a fang tooth. And an amber mancy. To remove those plus three. Oh, Stampede's back. Look at that. The card that doesn't do a whole lot. <laughs> Ooh, Lupo's back. I always liked Lupo. Lupo is the fight. He's skirmish, and then he deals two on play. So, uh, But he's six power skirmish, so... Nice. Storm Surge. Last set of dominance. For the remainder of the turn, a friendly creature gains skirmish ready and fighting. Four tall. Oh, yeah. Assert dominance is pretty good. Yeah, it does all that. All right, creator, horde sign-in, hookmaster. Bridgerific Rod. Did you get Thin the Herd? I did not get Thin the Herd. Thin Shuffle. the Herd is awesome. That card's sweet. <laughs> Shuffle the four least powerful creatures into their owner's deck. I got a Fuguru. I got a Stampede <gasps> as well. Oh, I got the combo, Tom. What's that? Dark Discovery. Name two cards. Discard the bottom, bottom two cards of your opponent's deck. If they are the named cards... Purge Dark Discovery and Forge a Key at no cost. Jeez. Dive deep. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Put a creature that sh shares a house with that card on the bottom of its owner's deck. So you get a tuck something on the bottom. And then you get to call. And this one, drawn down. Look at the top three cards. Discard one. Put one on the bottom. And put one on the top. So you play drawn down, you put one on the bottom. You play dive deep, you put a creature on the bottom. You name both of them, you forge a key at no cost. So you gotta have all three in the. You gotta have all three in hand. Nice. But even just playing Dark Discovery, it's got an amber pip, and you're like, I'm gonna guess. <laughs> yeah, you gotta try. I got. Strange Ordination with Marshall Ewer. Oh, double Marshall Ewer. That's good. Nice. What's the triple pip one? Uh, if Play only if the tide is high. Yeah, and this guy right. raises the tide on play. So. Gotcha. Chonkers. Give Chonkers a plus one. Power He's from Mass generator. Mutations. Gotcha. Got a badge, Magus. Two of them. Nothing enemy creatures. Okay. An old patty. That's evil old patty. Evil old patty. Reap. Discard the bottom card of your opponent's deck or the bottom three cards instead if the tide is high. Destroy a creature that shares a house with one of the discarded creatures. Wait, what, what's that again? Discard the bottom. Oh. Bottom three. Okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I think that Dark Discovery, here's my hot take. Dark Discovery is going to be amazing when you're playing on TCO. Yeah. Here's my other hot take. Your memory ain't that good. Uh, in live play, yeah. between the time that you get there yep. and everything else happening, the chances of you hitting it in live play are a lot lower without the combo. Um, in TCO, you can just mouse over and be like, oh, they only have these two cards left in their deck. Yep. So my hot take is it's going to look amazing when you're playing online and not so good when you aren't. <laughs> Archiving those is going to be huge. Yep. Yeah, and that's the thing. Oh, my gosh. Triple Frigorific Rod? Yeah. Call of the Void? Double Call bubbles. of the Void's good. Double bubble? Double bubbles. Brain drain. Look at your opponent's hand, choose a card from it, and put it on top of their owner's deck. I will say, playing unfathomable cards is fun. Playing against unfathomable cards, I'm still on the fence about. 
kill get spine. Kiri. Kiri. After enemy creature reaps, it does not ready during its controller's next ready card step. Oh, I like that. Oh, so it's a... Uh, yeah, I like that. That's good. That's a good card. While the tide is high, each friendly creature gets plus one power and plus one armor. While the tide is low, each enemy creature gets plus one power, plus one armor. Oh, that's cool. That's rough. Voice of Rakazel. Is Rakazel a creature in Unfathomable? Because that might give us... Um, if he's Voice of Rakazel, the next Keyforge Adventure is continuing this Depths thing. Rakazel might be the next big baddie. Mm, that's not good. Because he seems pretty rough with the tide swinging. Console Primus. Spoils a battle. Ultra Spoil. So if you are watching on YouTube again, um, I apologize that I forgot your name, but somebody commented on our YouTube video that I played this Altruist Rostrum yeah. as an action when we played the last oh, time as opposed to artifact. an artifact. Move one from a creature to another creature. Trojan Seropod. Oh. <laughs> Have you seen that? Yeah, it's real bad. <laughs> Omni, game three. Your opponent reveals their hand and puts each creature from it into play. Ready, then refills their hand as if they were draw card step. Destroy. Ooh. And it comes into play under its opponent's control. So you play it, you get the pip. But I get to decide the game three whenever I want on any turn. And then you get to put all your creatures into play ready and redraw. But what happens if you have no creatures? Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> okay. I'd, I'd rather gain the three amber. <laughs> nice. But we'll see. It might work great in this set. I, you know. Might be fun. I know some of my decks that I'd be like, sure, I'll play that. Might be fun to try it once. Eudagonis, Evil Twin. While the tide is low, double all damage dealt to Eudagonis. That doesn't seem very good. Uh, Undegan. Undeg Undegathus. Okay. I'll believe you. Sounded like someone was peeing. <laughs> Madagastra Vita. Play, fight. You may exalt a friendly non saurian creature if you do fight with it. Okay. And I got triple of those. Nice. Ooh, that's an awesome looking Triceratops right there. Laposaurus. Skirmish. Fight, exalt the creature, Laposaurus fight. Three power? That's, that's three power. That's decent. I got triple of those. <laughs> So hopefully, when I play that, you play it while I've got those. <laughs> yeah, while well, you've got all the evil twins in your hand. Jeez. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see what happens. I'm liking. I'm liking the unfathomable so far. Like I'm liking. And we both got old Patty. That's pretty cool. Yeah, well, we got very similar untamed. Mm-hmm. Uh, we. This is our second evil twin. We got one other um, from the last display. So, he has one now, yep. and I have one. Oh, how many evil twin creatures? Six in the last house and one in untamed, so seven total. Yeah, seven. Seven total. Tails. Tails it is. Um, The one I pulled last week had a lot, too. Um, I can't remember, Tom, how many what? Jeez, I don't know. Two, four, oh, eight. Uh, so, yeah. I can't believe there was only one in Untamed. That was pretty, yeah. like, odd man out kind of thing. Mm -hmm. The one I saw a guy selling on Facebook only had three, and it was in one house. I, I will say that so far my favorite evil twin creature is Sea Urchin. 
he's pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Six. I got seven. Let's do this. Um, I really want to keep this because I think I need the speed. I think I will keep it. Mm. It's so tough. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm probably going to lose because I'm keeping this hand, but I'm keeping as well. Brain drain. I can't read upside down. Oh, like right. You. Yeah. Look at your opponent's hand, discard a card, or choose a card from it, and put it on top of your opponent's deck. Ooh. Move up to three plus one counters. Since you've seen it now. The reason I kept the, didn't want to keep this hand is it has most of my creature control. Yep. And I'm not going to forge a key. Yeah. But the thing is, I get to play four cards. Yep. Either way, I don't really help you. So I put one of those. I'm going to put that one to save you a pip. And that's my card for the turn. Okay. I am going to call Sanctum. Play Badge Magus. Marshal Ewer. Raises the tide for me. Okay. Already. And draw three. Unfathomable. Bubbles. To put him on top. And call the void to exhaust the other guy. Okay. I'll draw two. And pass turn. Okay. I'm going to call untamed. A persistence hunting to unfathomable. Exhaust bubbles. Everybody's tired. Everybody's just tired. Play flute. Play key frog. Discard infighting. Play amber mancy for the pip. And what does that one do again? Remove up to three power counters and gain one for each power counter. Remove this way. Don't have any power counters, so. And that doesn't have to be friendly, correct? Right. It's from a creature. Okay. Draw five, pass turn. Saurian. Unidontis. I know I butchered yep. it. Mosaurus. Mosaurus. Altris. Rostrum. Altrus Rostrum. Draw five, two, three, four, five. When okay. the tide's low, he gets double damage. Okay. These guys fight and exalt the creature he fights, and they have skirmish. And these are the actions you played wrong on accident. Mm hmm. Uh, 
Sanctum. Okay. Okay, Orphean. Play Bulwark. And I'll put Badge Magus here. Marshall Ewer is going to fight and kill that Lapisaurus. Some damage. Already draw three and pass turn. <laughs> that was my whale sound. What does Bulwark do? He gives his neighbors assault. Yep. Okay, what is this going to do? Creep capture two. When the tide is low. Four lands chosen gets plus three armor and gains when the tide is low. All right. Have a good one, as a Ben K. We'll see you in a bit. Good to see you. Be safe. He's going to eat dinner. All right. Don't see choke. <laughs> hurry, but don't hurry. All right. Um, untamed. Nicolite. Assert dominance. For the remainder of a turn, the friendly creature gains skirmish ready. And wait. Yeah. So that's going to be here. Okay. problems for me here. He's going to kill here. Okay. He's got skirmish, so it doesn't yep. take any. We have a pixie's gonna go there, and the fittest give each friendly creature plus one power counter. I'll draw four and pass turn. Alrighty, I am going to call untamed. Start with all tied up. What does that do? Hands me a pip. If the tide is high, gain one. Otherwise, raise the tide. So, it's a double pip card. Um, can't do that one. Gonna play Lupo the Scarred over here. He's going to deal two damage to the. Lapisaurus. Play Floomph here. This Floomph is going to fight and kill the Lapisaurus. I get to put two counters on another beast creature. We are going to go ahead and give Lupo two. 
power counters. And key frog is just gonna read. Alrighty. And draw three. Hey Stormstrong, how's it going? Welcome. I have a, a mass mutation deck that's called Dismally Wanton Storm that I've been meaning to message you about. Because every time I pull it out, I'm like, oh yeah, Stormstrong. Raise the tide, gain 200 chains, <laughs> or three, calling Saurian. Play Magistra Vista. Vita. Vita. Gonna exalt here. The tide's high. He has Skirmish. Skirmish. And before fight and rage. It and both neighbors. I'm gonna fight and kill Keyfrog. Okay. It's going to make both of these guys mad. They're mad, mad dudes. I'm going to move this here. Okay. Play console Primus. I'm going to reap here for two. Draw one and shed a chain. Okay. Sanctum. Marshall Ewer is going to reap. Badge Magus is going to fight Consul Primus. Or no. I do this first. Three armor. So he could fight, fight. Yeah. Hey, Stormstrong. Um, or if he lands two cards, he fight. Fight. Wouldn't die, wouldn't die. So, yeah. Orphean Lands Chosen is going to fight Miliob. Take two. Get rid of Enrage. Now, Badge Magus is going to fight Consul Primus. Gets rid of Enrage. We get to ready and fight with each of the neighbors. I did not think this through. Oh, put console premise back. So we're just gonna crash him into Miliob. Then the fight effect doesn't happen. I'm going to play Honor or Glory to deal three damage to each flank creature. So that kills a fluke. We're going to use his there. I'm going to put a Gray Augur there. I'm going to discard the other Honor or Glory. Alrighty. 
ready. Check with six and draw three. Too many of my sound effects are logos and star lines, and we didn't pull any logos or star lines. Oh, yeah, we did not. <laughs> Zero of them. So, yeah. It's kind of difficult to... <laughs> I will say that in general, I felt like our Dark Tidings games have been closer than our ma some of our mass mutations. Yeah. I feel like nobody's, other than that evil twin game the last time. Yeah. I don't feel like anybody's gotten completely destroyed instantly. Yeah, you blew me out on that one. Is he skirmish? Nope. Each of Grey Augur's neighbors gains fight gain one. That's all he has. Oh, okay. All right. Untamed. That was a long time to think about that. All tied up to gain two. Yep. Because the tide is high. Assert dominance. I'm using him okay. to fight there. Okay. For his skirmish. And I'm going to play Old Patty there. Seems good. I'm going to draw three and shed a chain. Okay. I will forge. Unfathomable. A horrid sign in there. Play a photic raider to capture two. Play storm surge. You can't ready stuff next turn. Play portal. Raise the tide. I'll draw four. Ready, pass turn. Thanks for leaving me enough to forge. I if can... I could have stopped it, I would have stopped it. I appreciate it. I'm going to play... The New House. Unfathomable. Thank you. Good lord, I'm going to need a nap. <laughs> Too much sun today when it was 90. Out of nowhere, we got a 90 day. Mm -hmm. um, Frigorific Rod. Frigorific Rod. <laughs> Voice of Rakazul. That's probably as close as I'll ever get. Rakazel. Rakazel. Play Portal. Change the tide for me. And then I'm going to use Bubbles to kill here. They're going to trade. Oh, you moved the tide, so. Correct. Bubbles takes two. Uh, he has armor. No. One armor. While the tide is high, each friendly creature gains one power and one armor. Okay. So he has one armor. So he took one damage. Mm -hmm. 
I have one card, so I'm going to draw four and shed my last chain. Okay. I can't ready. Correct. So I will not ready. It just makes my board look big. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, shoot. Every time, Tom, that happens. Been there. Uh, it's garbage. Um, it's a nice one. Every time I want to call something, you just kill all those creatures. Sanctum. Creep, creep. What's that one? What'd you push? I didn't push anything. Oh, I thought I said. I was making sure the tide was right. Oh. Play Marshall Ewer. Raise the tide. Okay. Play Orpheal, Seas Chosen. Ready? Draw two. Okay, we're going to play Thin the Herd. Three, 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 and a four, and the four, one of the fours. We have Arthur Reed, no, Fight Raise the Tide, so we'll put him in there too. Raise the tide. Gain three chains. I'm going to reap. Discard the bottom three. And I get to destroy one, I believe. Destroy a creature that shares a house with one of the discarded cards. Sanctum or untamed. I'm going to... Destroy him. And I will play Chonkers. Gain plus one. And play Key Frog. I'll draw three and shed a chain. Okay.
Unfathomable. Subaru. Hookmaster. Slam Gill Enforcer. Horrid Sinon's gonna trade with him to Ganthus. Is that does he have poison? Yep. Okay. Because my other thought was because you got two there. Alrighty, and draw three. Spend eighteen more turns not gaining any amber. Unfathomable. Shocker. Snaveringer. Bridgerific Rod. Exhaust here. Lost here. Sink or swim to exhaust a creature and your neighbors, so both of them. Reap. Reap. Draw three and shed a chain. Draw two. Oh, he's a succubus. Mm-hmm. Nice. Shed a chain. Dead turns still suck. Fangtooth, which is going to kill my own creature. Old Patty and Flume. Draw three. The bottom card. Reap, reap, reap. Mm hmm. And then in fighting. Yep. He's a keep, I, keeper. I'm well aware of okay. what you're going to do there. All right. Uh, exhausting all of my creatures there was kind of the death blow for the deck. I don't, I don't know if you thought that in the game. I know. But. Yep. Now look at that. It was the bottom card. I got a forge to key for free with that. But I don't know how you generated Amber that game. Good job. <laughs> you didn't reap. You only had like seven pips. But for some reason you generated 18 Amber. I guess that's on me for not paying attention. Had to talk about feel bad games, didn't I? Twelve pips. Well, yeah, but, but I didn't you, get through my deck. 
Yeah, and when I counted, you were at seven pips. You had eight amber and had already forged a key, so... We're right there. No evil twin. Did you get logos though? Nope. Got Star Alliance. Nice. Triple Lieutenant Walmart. What's Walmart do? Uh, if the tide is high, keys are plus three. Oh. Key that tries out the laboratory. Star Alliance. Unfathomable. Untamed. Oh, this will be fun for me, I'm sure. And oh, you got shadows. Oh, yeah. Again, I hate the stupid sideways crap. <laughs> I started looking. Vagabond Mud Chimp. Nice. That's what's going to get me is the sideways card. It's going to make me hate the stupid game. Oh, you got a Molly Mock. Molly Mock's pretty cool. I don't like the Molly Mock. Key Frog. In fighting, yeah, we're getting lots of key frogs. Yeah, we got a key frog. Box. I got key frog double in fighting. That's what I got. <laughs> um, you got fittest and mookling. I got the fittest and mookling. Shocker when commons keep showing up all the same. Did you get a spore gorger? Well, I don't know yet. Screw in, got another old patty. Reap gives Spore Gorger a plus one counter. You may remove each plus one Spore Gorger from Spore Gorger. For each you do, deal one to each other creature. Genetic Drift. I like that card. Nice. Give a creature a plus one power counter, then give each other creature with a plus one power counter another plus one power counter. Jeez. And I have the fittest. Nice. And this card, which I'm super excited about. What's Ritual of Life. Act, it's an artifact. Action. Destroy a friendly creature. If you do, return a different creature from your discard pile to your hand. That works pretty good with Key Frog. Uh-huh. Beach Day. Play. Return a creature to its owner's hand. If the tide is high, gain one. Rocketeer Triska. While the tide is high, Triska's neighbors enter play ready. I got a Maverick. Maverick Bulwark. <laughs> nice. Kirker's back. Biome Discovery. If the tide is high, you may look at the top two cards and discard one of them. Otherwise, raise the tide. Ford's, force Field's back. I like that. Yeah. Field. Oh, Seeker Needle. Oh, Double Seeker Needle. Where's my Legacy Bad Penny? Ooh, under Pressure. I like that one. The creature cannot ready. Yeah. Scooped. Mug. I really like Hobnobber. He's basically a Shadow's Witch. Hard Simpson. What's Hobnobber do? Uh, action if your opponent has six or more steel two. Hmm. Double hard Simpson. Oh crap. Abandoned ship. Have you seen that? Nope. Return a creature to its owner's hand. If the tide is high, return four creatures to their owner's hand instead. That's worth the three chains. Dead man's chest. Artifact play. Put four amber on dead man's chest from the common supply. Deal two damage to a creature. 
After six or more creatures are destroyed in, in a turn, if Dead Man's Chest is ready, move each amber from Dead Man's Chest to the active player's pool. So that moves around? So if you kill six or more creatures in a turn, if this is ready, move amber from it to the active player's pool. Nice. This seems really, really cool against literally any house that doesn't have a frickin' Frigorific Rod. Nice. I don't have one. Whirlpool. At the end of each player's turn, that player gives control of the creature on their right flank to their opponent and moves it to that player's left flank. We had a deck with that. I was too scared to play that card. I'll be honest. <laughs> Operator... Espion, Double, Officer's Blaster. Operative Espion lost you a game. Yeah. Double of those, though. If you play mm -hmm. both of those, that really ruins things. Light of the Archons, Double. Light nice. of the Archons. Lieutenant Walmart. Diplomat. A gun. A gun. Which is pretty cool. Remainder of the turn, the friendly creature belongs to the house. Nice. Ambervac. Play raise the tide. This creature gains at the start of your turn. If the tide is high, capture two. Now that would have been pretty good with your big Saurian guy from the last game. Yeah. Took me 800 years to kill him. Taser? No. Teresa. Teresa. Colonist Chapman. Taunt each of Colonist Chapman's non-star alliance neighbors gain root gain gain one. I don't remember who encounter suit. Oh, and Book of LEQ is back. Book of LEQ and Encounter Suit. Well that's not a combo, but I know, but but double light of the archons. Well yeah, you've got all upgrades. Ooh, sweet. And no transporter platform. Why am I missing a card? I don't know. Did I double... Oh, I didn't do the Chapman one. I got so excited about Encounter Suit. Book of IQ. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it's non-Star Alliance, it's Active House. I like it. Except for I don't have a way of looking at the top card. Like in my last Book of IQ deck. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. Still makes it fun. He that tries out the laboratory. Pretty cool name, right? Mm-hmm. I could make Keyfrog huge, right? You could. Heads. You go first. You thought we didn't have enough artifact control in the last set. I don't think we have enough creature control in this set. Seems to be. I also think that decks that are going to win against other Dark Tidings decks aren't going to do very good against Coda and AOA and Worlds Collide. Hmm. Also beginning to get the feeling that like Mass Mutations isn't nearly as good as we first thought it was. Yeah.
keep. This card were cool. Star Alliance. Balmart. Septia. Espeon. Wait. Order of Operations. Play Zap for the pip. I guess I could have just damaged Septia's armor if I really wanted. Pinged him for one. Four. Test turn. Untamed, Fangtooth, discard McQueen, draw two, kill Walmart. Yep. Cool. Um, Shadows, play Trickle Down Theory. That gives me the tithe. It's me use a creature. Going to reap with Espeon. Play Hard Simpson. Ready? <laughs> don't don't ready the tide. Draw two. Star Alliance, Colonist, Operative, Light of the Archons, and Encounter Suit. Draw four and destroy here. Untamed, Ritual of Life, Discard Infighting, play Miliope, play Fleet. Ready, draw four. Star Alliance, Officer's Blaster, Amberback, Raise the Tide, Reap for two, Reap for one. End of my turn, destroy three. Draw two. Okay. Star Alliance. I'm need to gain one because you have six or more. Play 
biome discovery to raise the tide. Oh, and Kalyx too. Miliob is going to fight Colonist Chapman, has skirmish, and enrages it and both of its neighbors before fight. Because the tide is high. Play Rocketeer Triska. And Operative Espion is going to reap. Ready. Draw two. Do forge. Untamed. The tide is up. Oh, you, yeah. The tide is high, but I'm holding on. I'm gonna be your number one. Infighting. Pops the ward. Deals the ward, no, does the ward because it just before, right? It's before and then it resolves. So then it resolves. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to play the fittest, rewarding. In turn, Fang 2 kills there. Drawing four. Okay. Or three, I apologize. Star Alliance plays that, jumping the ward off of it. Pass turn, check with six. Okay. Unfathomable. Spark Fist. Under Pressure. Abandon Ship. Return a creature to its owner's hand. Or if the tide's high, four. I only have one. 
That's from the discard pile? What? Return four creatures to their owner's hand. Then not from the discard pile. Oh. I will just discard that. Yeah, that's not as good as I, I thought. Well, I'll not in discard. this specific situation. It's it would not. be if your board was Yeah. Um, and then sink or swim. Choose one. Your opponent discards a random card from their hand or exhaust. So. Oh no, my hand of six creatures. What will I do? <laughs> Whatever will I do? Shocker. Who is it? Hobnobber. Hobnobber. Okay, end of my turn. Fang Tooth destroys deer. Draw four. Reforge. Untamed, discard and fighting, play old patty, discard mookling, draw four. Wait, didn't see the power counter. Okay. Star Alliance. Book of IEQ. LEQ. 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 Discard Espion. Operative. Operate. Operative. Espion. Play Teresa. What did you say? Teresa. Teresa. Reap for two. Reap for one. I think we missed the trigger on that about eight times. Yep. You shouldn't have forged, but that's all right. End of my turn. Duel up Teresa. That's okay. Draw three. I'm not going to gain any amber for the rest of the game. Shadows. Play Seeker Needle. Discard two cards. Go. You can just play Solitaire. <laughs> you think I'm kidding. So how do you reveal the top card of your deck if it is non-Star Alliance card? So if I reveal it and it's Star Alliance, how do I lose my turn? Yeah, your turn ends. If Instantly. It, if it's Star Alliance. Yes. That's how. Okay. It's worth it. <laughs> hey, Techno Tacos. How's it going? I'm watching Tom play Solitaire at the moment. It's going great. <laughs> so if I do that, I lose that and that. 
I'm just going to try it. I've only got three cards left in there. Star Alliance. Reap for two. Reap for one. Book of IEQ. Play. Not really. It's just when you have no creature control, the game turns into pretty much stupidity. So you have to destroy an artifact, man. Like <laughs> I was waiting for you to talk. I didn't want to. I figured we could resolve it. Discarding and fighting. End of my turn. Blow up the four. Draw three. Shadows. Play scooped. What does that do? Deals two damage to a creature. If it is not destroyed, it captures one from its own side. Use trickle down theory to gain one. Play ransack. It's been unfortunate. So far. play seeker needle to deal the damage to that because who cares? Draw two, pass turn. Beginning of my turn. You forge. Okay. I got encounter suit on here and light of the archons and it's not good. Um Unfathomable portal. It's already high, so I'm archiving it. Call of the Void. Exhaust here. Call of the Void. Exhaust here. Brain Drain. Choose a card from its hand. Yeah, I got to draw one more card next turn. was it? The plus three keys. Okay. And I will draw four. Pass turn. Star Alliance, go. You needed to kill something, oh. by the way. I will kill here. No, we haven't really been seeing much mini board wipes or much creature control to speak of. It seems to come in clumps. So you'll get a deck that has like six board wipes and doesn't do anything. Um, or you get decks like this where all of my creature control is infighting so it doesn't matter because Tom's managed to win the game with two creatures. Star Alliance, Reap for two, Reap for one, Light of the Archons, Shocker, Lieutenant Walmart, Book of IEQ, Play Seabringer. End of my turn. Kill here. Shield the pot there. No. Yeah. Draw three. I can only draw two. Kill operative. No, I killed the three guy. Oh. Yep. Okay. I killed the three. That's why I was saying I should have put that there. 
Um, the three guys should be in your discard pile then, because it's at the end of your turn. Gotcha. Not before your draw step. Understood. Super easy fix. Mm hmm. Shadows, trickle down thirty to gain one. Seeker needle to um, do a damage to Seabring or Katoa. And before somebody on the internet gets mad, yes, I did look at my discard pile because the game's over. But steal, steal, steal. Stop. Play mug to deal two damage to the Kakoa. Because it doesn't matter because Penny, draw one, Tuffle and draw another. That captures two. One frickin' bounce spell. One. It's all it take. Yeah. One return a creature to its owner's hand. Anything. Star Lance. Root for two. All right, read for one. I already gave it to you. Oh, did uh, you? Yeah, I gave it to you. At the oh, end of oh. My turn. okay. Read for one. Pay diplomat a gung. That makes him Star Alliance mm -hmm. to reap. Book of IEQ. Untamed. Play key frog. To capture there. Pay ritual of balance. Capture one there. Play beach day. Turn here. Play. End of my turn. You thing can't two. play him. Oh, you're now in untamed. Oh, oh yeah. End of my turn. Yeah. Fang we, kills we, him. Yeah. We're there. Okay. That was fun. <sighs> I'm excited for what this set is going to bring. Can I buy a gateway to this? I bet you have about 80 Can, of them in that box. In this box? Yeah. No. Oh. I literally have... Oh, you don't have any in there? Yeah. It's all new stuff? Mm-hmm. Okay, you pick first this time. That's the one. I can smell it. The Lord Vincent of Shallow Chamber. You got logos. Zero creature destruction. You got logos. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because you're going to open like Sanctum Unfathomable and you're just going to kill all my stuff before it does anything. Sometimes the tide is high, sometimes it's not. Well, uh, yeah, we've hit a couple evil twins. I 
So I thought my deck, my evil twin deck, was actually fairly decent. We got another one. Shocker. And it's Sanctum Unfathomable, isn't it? No. Sorry, and Untamed Logos. Oh, even better. Yay for Clay. I'll forge three keys by the end of the night, guys. Don't you worry. Maybe it's a dud, though. Um, I pulled Shadows again. I know. I know. Shadows isn't that bad. It is. I'm sick of playing Shadows. Colonia with a bunch of creatures, so that's okay. Spore Gorger. Another genetic drift. Cross porpoises. I like cross porpoises. Oh look, a garbage card. This one is not that many. Punctuated equilibrium. That's a good card. Altruistic old fellas. Evil twin. Walk the planks okay. I am really sick of seeing shoulder id. Oh look, another double seeker needle deck. We've pulled it untamed every time. Stop giving stop putting seeker needle in sets that it has no synergy in. No bad penny. What am I gonna do? Kill my bumblebird? <laughs> Another fang tooth. Cement shoes with a draw icon. That's not terrible. Stir up trouble. Choose a creature and one of its neighbors. Each chosen creature deals damage equal to its power to the other. That still wouldn't have helped last game. Witch of the Dawn, evil twin. Destroy another friendly creature if you do. Play a different creature from your discard pile. Ready and use that creature. Ooh, double science. What's science do? For the remainder of the turn, after you play another action card, gain one. Oh. A double? Yep. A little snowball. But I am not seeing another Logos action at all. Oh. Anywhere. Here you go. At all. There's no taxation. Oh, look. There's one other action in Logos. <laughs> Evil Twin Mookling. After your opponent forges a key, give Mookling plus one power counter for each amber spent to forge that key. That's pretty terrible. That's pretty terrible. He jumps to an eight. There's just no taxation so far that I've seen. Well, but so he's an eight power creature. The only reason your other guy was good was because he caused his neighbor to reap for two. He had taunt, and he was unkillable. Oh, he also captured two every turn, Tom. Yeah, yeah he, he was Big great. creatures aren't great. No, no, no. <laughs> he was un, unattackable. Play, lose one if you do purge a creature. Double of that. I like that. Oh, there's Faust. Yeah. So Faust with that, that snowballs no, him. Because he gets plus one power counters, not Amber. No, no, no. What oh, I'm you're talking about to build. Yeah, but exalt two friendly creatures. Meh. Oh, enemy creatures. Trojan sauropod. Oh, what's that terrible one? Peril guardian's back. Always liked him. Mm-hmm. The big beefy boy. Hard Simpson is common. Um. It's, I, I understand that there are combos with Hard Simpson. I get it, I do. That's still a, a lot of, um, uh, do you just, like, get to pull all the cool new stuff? <laughs> Anklio Formation. For the remainder of the turn, a friendly creature gains Skirmish, or Exalt a friendly creature. For the remainder of the turn, each friendly creature gains Skirmish. That's pretty sweet. And you got Broccanalia there. What's yeah. that? It's a treasure. Put four on Broccolia for the common Broccanala. Broccanala. 
from the common supply of friendly creature captures one. At the start of each player's turn, if that player controls four or more creatures with amber on them, move each from Brockliama to that player's pool. Brockanala. Brockanala. Evil Twin. Eclectic Ambrosius. Sort of Ambrosius. Reap. Put an ignorance counter on an enemy creature. As long as that creature has an ignorance counter, its text box is considered blank. Sensor Philo. Play. Deal 5 to a creature with amber on it. That could come back to bite your butt. Science. Phase shift. Information. Final analysis. Destroy each creature. Oh, look. You got action cards with science. Good job, Tom. <laughs> Final analysis. Destroy each creature. Each player... Oh, you got a board wipe, too. Each player draws a card for each creature they controlled that was destroyed this way. Uh huh. Bilge Warden. Bilge Warden. Play, reap. If the tide is high, your opponent raises the tide. Otherwise, you raise the tide. What? If the tide is high, your opponent raises the tide. Otherwise, you raise the tide. Yeah, so you just switch it. Yep, and it gets swapped. So it should just say that. Reap, deal two to a creature. If this damage destroys a creature, raise the tide. Mind bullets. That's telekinesis, Kyle! <laughs> deal one to each creature. Hey, Slag Blast, how's it going? Isotropic core. Each friendly creature gains hazardous one. Forgive and forget. Play, choose one. Archive two cards of different types from your discard pile. Or purge up to two cards from each discard pile. I pulled a double science deck. Tom pulled a deck with science and actions. I wonder which will be better. Vespillian theorist. theorist. Reap, choose a house, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's that house, archive the card and gain one. Otherwise, discard it. Honors, Kesis. Forge a key at plus seven current cost, reduced by one for each card you have played this turn, including this one. If not, purge Honors, Kesis. With a little bit of... Yeah, but with science, because you're gaining one for actions, not and bad. it has a pip. Yeah, not too bad. Pi Swaven, Reap. P.I. Swaven. P.I. Swaven, Evil Twin. Reap, if the tide is high, your opponent discards a random card from their hand. Yeah, the Witch is good. Mookling's garbage. I consider that uh, um, a wash, but Ritual of Life with that. That's real good. Which ones were bring it back from your discard? Is that what ritually or ritual is? Yeah, just dis destroy a friendly creature. Or bring one back from your discard. Mm -hmm. Well, your box was a double evil twin deck. Oh yay! Tom owns two evil twins out of my box. I'm happy for you, Tom. Oh, Clay. Happy for you. I'm you... happy for your board wipes. I'm happy for your decks with synergy. You pulled the only one out of my box. Yep. Tails. Tails it is. I'll keep. I'll keep as well.
I had good opening hands, but nothing else. Turn. Logos. Draw four. Pass turn. Yeah, and it's got a mecha buoy. Okay, untamed. Discard chonkers. Play witch. Oh, wait. First I have to play mookling. Then play witch to destroy here. Mm-hmm. To gain chonkers. Yeah. Give him a plus one. Ready and use him to kill Pi. P.I. Way of the Pixie. And I'm actually going to discard Fang too. Are you going to double the number of plus one power counters on him like you're supposed to? Yep. I will draw five. Okay. Oh. Yep. Start of my turn, the tide raises. And that's removed. Because the tide warped. Okay. And that's each time? Uh, at the start of my turn, if the tide is high, okay, your opponent raises the tide. Otherwise, I raise the tide. Since the tide was, was not raised, I raise the I tide. I see. Gotcha. Going to play Scooped on Witch of the Dawn, dealing it two damage. It is not destroyed, so it captures one. I'm going to play Cement Shoes to kill it. Play Seeker Needle. Play Shouldered here. Play Hornswoggle for the pit. Ready, draw five. Uh, untamed, Molly Hawk destroying there. Floop. And I'm going to fight there. Draw two.
He said tide swap. Was it? I know. Uh, well, it's only at the beginning tide of work. your. Yep. Your turn. Yep. Yeah. Not at the beginning of each player's. He just said, "Oh, tide work." Tide work. Because he saw it after I played it. Oh. Um. That was before. Mm-hmm. I was slow. I was reading my cards. I'm gonna call untamed. Play all tied up to gain two because the tide's already high. Play Reaper so, and I'm gonna choose to Freddy and Reap with a friendly creature. I'm gonna Reap with Australis Seaborg. Gain one, and I'm gonna do two damage to. I will check with eight. I will ready. I will draw two. Logos, Bill Jordan, switch the tide, and final analysis, I'll draw three, you'll draw four. Odds would say I would draw something logos, but I didn't. So I will pass turn. Okay, and I will forge. Tom's about to have a real bad day. Play Spore Gorger. Play Genetic Drift. Give a creature a plus one power counter. Then give each creature with a plus one power counter another plus one power counter so he gets two. For a mouthful of words. And then I'm going to play Punctuated Equilibrium. Each player discard their, discards their hand, then refills their hand as if it was their draw card step. So we each draw six. And you would have thought I would have drawn some untamed from that, but apparently we're both wrong, so. Seven out of ten are untamed. <laughs> nice. I think I think your logos ratio was lower. <laughs> yeah. Assert dominance. He's got skirmish ready. Hit you for five. Okay. Draw two. Okay, um, Shadows, play Sack of Coins, deal four to the Deep Water Gruen, then I'm going to kill it with Seeker Needle, gain one, play Seeker Needle, play Frank, and 
discard stir up trouble. So ready, draw four, pass turn. Logos. Isotropic swirl. Each friendly creature gains hazardous one. Oh wow, that's cool. P.I. Swaven. Forgive and forget. Choose one, archive two cards of different types from your discard pile, or purge two cards from each discard. I'm archiving two of each, two different kinds. But two of each type? Archive two cards of different types. Okay, so you're archiving two cards. Got it. Correct. For a second I was like, ooh, what? Because <laughs> that would be eight potential cards that you get to archive. That's a little broken. <laughs> On one card. Pure Guardian. And final analysis back. Archiving there. I'll draw three. Pass turn. Okay. We're going to call Logos. I will raise the tide. Play a Mecha Buoy, which says at the start of each player's turn, if the tide is high, that player gains one. Wait, yeah. what? If what? At the start of each player's turn, if the tide is high for that player, they gain one. Okay. Now I'm going to play Archon's Callback to draw five cards. That just draws me five. It's Omega. And draws me five. I will not shed a chain. I will ready. I will check with six. But this is going to be over quick. Sorry, I'm picking up my archive. Play per pair guardian. Play pair guardian. Play ostracized. Lose one. Purging. Ankyla, Formicola, whatever that is. Ankylo formation. He's got skirmish. Okay. Or I could exalt one and everyone has it. Right. Um, and I'm playing Faust to exalt. Draw three. Pass turn. Okay. 
the beginning at the start of my turn. I have the tide high, so I gain one and then I forge. Untamed. Right. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Untamed. A bumblebird for the nothings. Play cross porpoises. Raise the tide and then enrage two enemy creatures. Faust and Swevin are going to get mad. Actually, no. Faust and Paragardian are going to get mad. Play Trelonia. Play Flint. Gain one. And Trelonia. It's untamed. Okay. I'm going to discard Youngest Bear. And then play Witch of the Dawn. Trelonia gains me one. And then I'm going to return Youngest Bear to my hand. Play Youngest Bear. And gain one. That's not a you may. Otherwise. And I was trying to figure out if this was a Logos or Shadows card. Because then I would have returned a Logos or Shadows creature to my hand. I will ready. Shed a chain. Draw that. Shuffle and draw one more. This is pretty much game over. Because I gotta take this turn in fighting. Okay, deals one. Kills. Deals two. Kills. Kills. Deals three. Kills. One past Charlie. Okay. Ooh. Being my turn, I gain one from Mechabui. Logos. Static charge. That creature gains at the start of your turn, deal two damage to each of its creature's neighbors. Play Novu and play Tall Mage Steelheart, draw one. Uh, play, give it plus one power counter for each card you have played this turn, one, two. So it gets plus two. And 
then I'm going to play Old Gab. So destroyed ward the neighbors. Will not check with six because of Faust. I will ready, draw three, and shed a chain. Yeah, at my current knowledge of the set, it is very hard to determine whether a deck will generate amber or not just from looking at it. Logos, honors. I can't forge a key, so I purge it. Wait, it's, I thought it, it's plus seven. No, it's if you do purge a key, purge it. If you do, purge it. Oh, at the start of your turn, he takes one, and he takes two. For what? From Static Charge. You know what? I'm not playing that yet, because I actually... Mind bullets. That's telekinesis, Kyle. He has armor. To each creature for each card you have played this turn. So it's one? Oh. I thought it was just one. This to every he, creature. He has two. Yep. Deal one to each creature. Okay. I'm saving that for a second because I okay. need to just board wipe. Okay. My big guys won't die, but information exchange. Let's deal one. Osterus discarding their honors three. Then mine bullets for four. Okay. So destroyed effect happens. He gets the ward, but he still takes four. So you forge and win. So that's game. Yep. Nothing needs to be figured out. Been a terrible deck. I don't like these treasures. That dead man's chest was not good. I have no capture. Well, and that's my problem with them, is they feel too situational. Like, like it's kind of the same if you're playing Magic or Pokemon or any other deck-building game. Like, everybody says, you know, stay away from situational cards. Well, if your Keyforge deck's made up of situational cards, you can't. Pick another evil twin. Um, you can't avoid the situational cards. And there are some decent situational cards. I just don't like the treasures because they feel too double-edged. I yeah, I couldn't get. I only had nine pips, and he kept stealing what I did get. So it's yeah. an evil twin. You're you're getting an evil twin. Actually, I didn't. I registered this right. It's an evil twin, isn't it? No, nope. it's got unfathomable then. And pardon of Nightbog. Patron of Nightbog. Two best houses in the set, in my opinion. That's my hot take. I'm tired of Untamed. Yeah, we pull a lot of Untamed. Every deck here is had Untamed. Every one we've pulled tonight. Yep, it has, and I got an evil twin. Ooh, red shiny. Nice. Okay, this might be our last one unless it goes really fast. Okay. Goes really fast, we'll have one more tonight. But we'll finish off this box next week. Okay, so there's some stuff in here I haven't seen before.
check it out. That's some cool coloration on there. Lieutenant Magnus L. Mays, Evil Twin. Coming straight to you with no board wipe, I'm sure. But it does have a way of the Pixie Tom. And we all know what that card can do. All you need. It can reap gain you, gain you an extra amber. And we all know that amber is what it takes to win this game. Usually. Double reaper so, triple reaper so. I don't know how I feel about that. Molly Mock's good with the draw icon, it's even better. Key Frog. Infighting. Which is the best Niffle card that exists, in my opinion. Double infighting. Gruen. Oh, Growth Surge is back? Fertility Chant? What? Oh, jeez. And you had Key Frog? Yeah. That's lovely. That's a three card key. Spore Gorger. He is Evil Twin Spore Gorger. Move each plus one power counter in play to Spore Gorger. And then he's just got the same reap ability as regular Spore Gorger. <laughs> but with three Reaper Sows, where I that's nine plus one power counters, <laughs> I can reap with him and deal nine damage. Oh, he doesn't give himself one. When you play him. When you play him. Or when he reaps. I pulled a lot of zaps tonight. Unity or Discord. Use a friendly non-Star Alliance creature. Or return up to two friendly creatures and each upgrade. Attach them to their owner. Techno Babble's good. I like that one. Yeah, that's a good one. Static Collection Array. Your keys cost minus one while the tide is high and plus one while the tide is low. <gasps> with that... Oh, man, can you imagine this in the deck with the buoys? Mm. And if you have the tide warp... There you go. Because when it switches to you, you're like, I gained three amber, and my keys only cost five. Instant. Oh, nice. Selective Preservation's good. Have we seen this one? Choose a creature of each power value. Destroy each creature not chosen. Yeah, we did have that one. Okay. Because we had the one with the house. Yeah. Lay of the Land's back. Plasma Nozzle's back. Nice. Shield you later. She has five power. Maybe played as an upgrade instead of a creature with the text, this creature loses all armor and gets minus two power. Oof. That's cool. Yeah, that could kill somebody easy. Evil Operative Espeon. After a player raises the tide during their turn, they may deal three damage to a creature. Nice. Evil Cheetah. Skirmish. When the tide is high, each of Cheetah's neighbors gains Skirmish. The other one's elusive. Yeah. Submersive Principle. Okay. That's a better Effervescent Principle. Each player loses one. If the tide is high, each player loses half of their amber instead. No chain. I'm really liking static charge. Phase shift. Got the info morph. Got those draws on those on that Star Alliance card. I'm okay with. Hydro Cataloger. After a player raises the tide, they archive the top card. Got an ED, got a Bilge Warden, got a Mecha Buoy. That's fun. Fila the Researcher's back. Have we seen her already? Who is it? Fila, the one um, after a card is, creature is played next to her, draw a card. Yep. Evil Tall Mage. Deal damage to an enemy creature equal to the number of cards you have played this turn. Jeez. Destroyed and rage each enemy creature. Lovely. And fight steal too. That's 
seems not nice in logos. Z Force is back. Yeah. And you pulled the Z Force, man. Yeah. Tom with the pulls. Tom pulling all my chase cards. He's gonna he's gonna pull a legacy bad penny, and I'm just gonna flip the table. Fight gain one for each upgrade on him. He's not legacy. Nope. Oh. That's cool. Just regular. Have all the matches had an evil twin? This is the third match, and this is the third evil twin. This is our fourth match. Is this our. Oh, wow. We've been cranking through tonight. So, one of the matches didn't have an evil twin. Correct. That's strange. Okay, so after this, we each have 20 more decks to open. <laughs> So we'll be opening for a bit still, and then we'll get into our tournament um, where we will have predictions up. Giving away some stuff. Having mm -hmm. you guys guess. Yep. This stuff's still hard. Still reading stuff. Yeah. Ugluck won um, our last. Got a couple mass mutation decks and a um, I think it was a time traveler play mat. I can't remember which play mat he wanted. We've still got some vault tour play mats. We've got a few of the ones from the organized play kits. Um, this set might be a little easier to read than Mass Mutations was. Quite honestly, I still like <laughs> Mass Mutation decks. I'm like, it might work. I mean, there's some obvious stuff in Mass Mutations, but there are some other hidden gems in that set, especially against other Mass Mutation decks. Well, that last deck I had a board wipe, and I couldn't play it twice because you had a bigger board than me, and it would let you draw mm -hmm. cards, so the board yeah. wipe was even unusable. So the board wipes thing seems to be... A problem so far. I'm gonna call tails because this is gonna be heads, so you can continue to go twice all or three, go first. All three games. Four. All four games. <laughs> I just said. That. I did. I did it first. Inane or insane? I personally already think that Dark Tidings is more powerful. I, I feel like the pos I feel like the possible decks in Dark Tidings get better. I'm mulliganing this. It's two two two. It's not super great. Has a lot of stuff I want later. Dropping an ED turn one in Worlds Collide is not the same as dropping an ED turn one in any other set, in my opinion. Yeah, you could be right. I techno tacos. I. What do you say? MM Peak is on a whole other level. Sure. I mean, of course. We we're always glad to look. We definitely aren't right all the time. Brain at least I'm not. Oh, Tom gets to look at the same time I do. That way, the pixie there is pretty scary, Tom. I am worried about him. Look at your opponent's hand, put it on top of their deck. Put that one on the top of the deck. Okay. 
I got my pip and I'll pass turn. Play a Hydra Cataloger. And I will discard Static Charge. And I will... I think I raise the tide here. So that I can archive that. Because I don't want to call Logos for a while because I just played Logos. Why do you get to archive it? Because this says after a player raises the tide, they archive the top card of their deck. Hmm. Okay. So I will ready, and I will draw four. And watch, it's going to be four Logos cards, but still. Okay. And, oh. I will draw three. Good thing I didn't look. Chains. Chains. Shed down to two chains. Unfathomable. Sink or swim. Your opponent discards a card at random. Well, I know what card I want to discard. Okay. Okay, Worlds Collide. Faithfully Sharp Tooth Lucinda. Logo Starian Star Star Alliance. Okay, that's that you're 88 sass. You're Jeez. I mean I will say that I SAS is not the be all end all. SAS is fairly reliable in Worlds Collide, in my opinion. It's fairly unreliable in AOA, um, in my opinion. Um, what was it? Reap or so. Choose one, ready and reap with a friendly creature, or give three plus one power counters to creatures distributed as you choose. Like the red alert, double stealth mode, fly the archons. Double stealth mode? Yeah. Double red alert, double stealth mode, double quadricorder, eh. Tribute, Ludo. Tribute, six semper. Tertiate, so you can with tribute Stenopius. with your Ludo. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Um, double wild wormhole. I'll be 100% honest, I don't see why this deck's 88 sass, but I must be missing something. It's the double wild wormhole, man. That's awesome by itself. Regrettable Meteor, is that rated high or something? Thalassobophobia. Discard the top 10 cards. Thalassophobia. Yep. Discard the top 10 cards of your opponent's deck. You want to look? I saw two of the important ones. Is it really that fast? Kirby, Gray, because he's got it at 20 speed. Double Daughter, Wild Wormhole, Code Monkey, Double Titan Guardian, Sanitation Engine. I don't know. I That one I'd have to play. Looks fun, man. Yeah. He's got all the right cards. Mm -hmm. I'll draw two, pass turn. Okay. I'm going to call Untamed, play Spore Gorger, put Way of the Pixie on Spore Gorger, play Reaper So to Ready and Reap with Friendly Creature. I will shed a chain and draw four. Um, it looks good. I have a triple stealth mode. Um, Captain Valjerico deck that's basically the same house output. Um, There's none. Okay. I, I wasn't going to cut you off. Um, so, I mean, it could be good. I just, I don't know. Pass turn. Um, oh, I can't get rid of this. Um, 
on Logos, pick up the archive, play Old Gab, play Infomorph, oh, including this one, okay. Play Tall Mage Steelheart to deal three damage to Floop. Discard Build Warden. Shed the last chain and draw three. Yeah, I honestly, those Saurian decks, it comes down to matchups. There's a reason that, like, Saurians aren't the be all end all, because it kind of comes down to matchups at the end of the day. Because unless you can archive everything, um, eventually somebody's going to be able to double gateway you and just destroy your life. Leave the 10 power, the three on each side. Yep. And Witch of the Dead. Dawn is here. Is Star Alliance. For the remainder of the turn, a friendly creature belongs to the house of your choice in addition to other houses. I'm going to trade here. Let's see. But Uncharted Lands wouldn't give you the amber if you made them Saurian with Orator Hisaria. Because Orator Hisario says they become Saurian. And the Uncharted Lands says Star Alliance creatures reap for an extra one. That's weird. Yep. Oh, you fought. Who'd you fight and kill? Here. Okay. Sorry. No worries. Um, untamed. Deep water. For two. Because the tide is high, you don't get the one. Um. Uh. Reap. For two. Play Reaper So to ready and reap for two. Play Molly Mock to draw and then destroy an artifact. Draw three, check with nine. Uh, cards, I thought, were only of one house. Am I wrong? Because if they belong to House Saurian, they belong to House Saurian. They don't belong to House Saurian and Star Alliance because of the way they worded. I'm pretty sure. Somebody smarter than me will probably tell you better. Tabor. Fight and kill here. Okay. He doesn't have skirmish. No. I take four damage. But yep. he does have all kinds of power. He's plus two here. Plus so he's three. ten, but yep. he takes four. Yep. Before fight, deal three to each neighbor. Yep. When he's destroyed, he enrages all your creatures. And he takes three. And 
He's elusive. No, he's not. He has enhance. Oh, enhance. So you gained three, right? Did you already gain your three? No, I did not. Okay. I'm going to leave him be, and I'm going to draw two. Okay. I will forge for six. Hmm. I'm going to call Star Alliance, play Static Collection Array, my keys cost minus one while the tide is high, and plus one while the tide is low. I'm going to play a Lay of the Land, look at the top three, put them back, and then draw one. That. Draw. level or is this stupid? It might be next level. We're going to go with it's next level. We're going to go with it's next level, Tom. I'm there. I personally don't think I would ever do this outside of stream purposes. Ah, maybe I don't do it. Oh, I can do that. Okay. going to play Diplomat Agung, and I am going to make, what's he do? Uh, for the remainder of the turn, a friendly creature belongs to the house of my choice, okay. in addition to its other houses. Okay. So I am going to make Molly Mock Star Alliance. Molly Mock is going to reap. And then I'm going to put Shield You Later on Molly Mock. It loses all armor and gets minus two power, so it's now a three power. And then I'm going to play Selective Preservation. Choose a creature of each power value, destroy each creature not chosen. Two. Three, four, five. I got a straight. Ten. I don't understand. Choose what? Choose a creature of each power value. So this is a two, this is a three, this is a four, this is a five. These are both twos, these are both threes, and this is a ten. So these two die. Yep, so those two die. Then I'm going to use Unity or Discord to use a friendly non-Star Alliance creature. Uh, Deepwater Gruen is going to... Reap. I 
I will ready. Draw five and pass turn. So he's a two power? He's a three power. Three power. I'm going to raise the tide. I'm going to play Biome Discovery. If the tide is high, when you look at the top two cards of your deck and discard one of them, otherwise, raise the tide. Yeah, that, that would be my reading on that Techno Taco, but What's I could that? be wrong. What he was saying about, oh, about the, the, his, yeah. his Saurian deck. Mm -hmm. I played that there. Okay. He doesn't have any, obviously. Um, He's going to fight here. Okay. Lose the ward. Lose the ward. Gain three. Kill all three of those guys. I will draw none and shed a chain because I'm at five. Okay, I will forge for seven. I am going to raise the tide. I'm going to play Subversive Principle. Tide is high, each player loses half their amber. Play Mecha Buoy. Play Edie to archive that. Play Phase Shift. Play Growth Surge. Three. Ready, shed a chain, draw one, shuffle, and draw four more. What was that for? Just cuz. Because Z Force Agent is basically a caffeine. Oh, I lost the enrage from before. Yep. Fight Edie, lose my ward, gain three, do three to the other yep. guy, three, draw none, shed a chain. Okay, I will gain one from Mecha Buoy. Going to call Untamed.
My infighting. Creature deals damage with its power to its right neighbor. Play Spore Gorger. Move those two there. Play Growth Surge. Do three and two. And Deepwater Grown is going to fight and trade with the Z Force Agent. Because he's seven power. Ready, shed a chain, and draw three. Tamed. Maliant destroying there. Spore Gorger. Ah, that's on re not on play. Oh, I had the other one. Draw two, shed my last chain. Okay. Starlance, pick up my archive. Play Operative Espeon. After a player raises the tide during their turn, they may deal three damage to a creature. Put Plasma Nozzle on the Spore Gorger. And Zap to deal two damage to... Amber control. Yeah. He's seen zero doorsteps tonight. Got time for another one, Tom? Yep. It's nine o'clock. I don't have to pick my daughter up till ten. Okay. Alrighty. I discarded my fertility chant and then it was on the bottom. Some decks are fast. Some decks are slow. Some decks are medium. I'm waiting for them to come out with a with a deck that lets you start the game with two keys and six amber. You did that last week. Oh right. That's right. Go ahead. Between these two, I just No, no evil twin. No evil twin. Logo shadows unfathomable. The watcher that howls at public safety. Did you get untamed? I did not. Did you? Yep. I got sanctum. Sorry. Well, I mean, not on the sanctum. I actually think sanctum's good. Um. Got another tidal wave and got another dead man's chest. I think we're still seeing those clumping, that clumping issue. I don't know if it's an issue. It might be N.S. Ibaka the fourth. Gold. One, two. Yellowish gold. Orange. 
Almost made it through a full display tonight. We might have to do some key wrecking adventures next week. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sink or swim. Discard a random card or exhaust a creature in each of its neighbors. That's real good. Photo creator with a capture icon. Nice. Netcaster. Reap exhaust a creature. Land Gill Enforcer is pretty meh in my opinion. Call of the Void with Guilt Spine is pretty good though. And with Sink or Swim. Bubbles. Bubbles is just good. Good solid 5 power with a play. He's kind of like Bumpsy. Yeah. Oh, we got our first anomaly, Tom. Anomaly? Well, the Lukenth was an anomaly, remember? Oh, we got Orb of Wonders and Mass Mutation. Yeah. But our first Dark Tidings one. Nice. Well, the tide is low. He cannot be used. Exhaust an enemy creature and each of its neighbors on fight or reap. Nice. Under pressure. If the tide is high, destroy a creature and each of its neighbors. Your opponent raises the tide for tidal wave. Oh, yeah. And I heard that about Australia. You guys didn't get very much disc for Worlds Collide. Um, yeah. Tabletop Royale opened like 72 decks or something that were all had discs. <laughs> Abandoned Ship. There you go. Sea Urchin. Sea Urchin with Abandoned Ship is pretty good. With Bubbles, too. Nice. Kind of Paradise Walls back. Oh, nice. Mug with a draw icon. Gray Augur. Bear Sergoya. Hard Simpson. Trickle Down Theory is a real good card. Real good card. What is that? Uh, play Raise the Tide. Omni gain one if your opponent has six or more. Because hmm. it's Omni. That's nice. just good. Latent Thievery. Have we seen this one? I don't think so. Action, got a pip, enrage an enemy creature, move all amber from that creature to your pool. Jeez. The, in case you were wondering, Techno Tacos, this is why <laughs> this is why worlds collide sorry and become suspect. Because they've made so much sorry and hate. How much how much any amber? Yeah. So true all. Yep. Nice. And I've got three of them. One of them has a draw icon on it. Have you seen Theory or Conjecture? Choose one. Archive the top two cards of your deck or play the top card of your deck. Nice. So it's Wild Wormhole or the one from Mass Mutation. Mm -hmm. The Logos one. Phase Shift. I'm always just happy to see Phase Shift. And I got the Dead Man's Chest least, but last, but eh. I don't think it's as good. I just I don't know how I'm going to kill six creatures with this. Yeah. Information exchange. Info more. Another hide. Ooh. Okay. That's synergy. What's the last one? Destroy each creature. Draw a card. Each player draws a card for each creature they control controlled that was destroyed that way. So you could face shift in the dead man's chest and then board wipe to kill six creatures and get the four amber. It's not going to work. Because you don't have enough capture. But it's a possibility. Oh no, the 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 Breck and Nalia was the capture. Oh, This one is if six, after six or more creatures are destroyed. Oh. Move. Oh, he has to be ready. Damn. Nice. Ever seen an Edie with two capture icons on it? Jeez. Bilge Warden, Positron Bolt, Nine Bullets, That's Kyle. Data Forge is back, and Chronophage. Chronophage is going to be real good. Your opponent's creatures and artifacts gain Omega. 
Is that an uh, uh, artifact? No, it's a creature. And what gains Omega? Creatures and artifacts. Your opponent's creatures and artifacts. Lovely. And he's a three. Mm -hmm. No elusive or anything, though. Um, I think Chronophage with Cop is going to be good. Cowpea. Mm. The one that says you can only play one of each card. Yeah. That's terrible. Especially if you've got like a Paragardian in between the two of them. Yeah. There you go. I'm just going to call Sarian for the rest of the game and sleep with Paragardian and Exalt. <laughs> Done. I'm kind of a fan of this Blatant Thievery. It's going to be real good against some Sanctum and Sar Sarian shenanigans. Well, this... I'm still sad because Sanctum still really doesn't seem to have a way to get rid of that Amber. No. Like, they're beefy boys, but I'd even take something at, like, Rare. Or a card that was just, like, exhaust a Sanctum creature and move all the Amber on it to the cool. common supply. Like... Yeah. Like... It fits in with the lore of Sanctum that they would, like, take that Amber and then destroy it yep. for the greater good. Like, that That completely fits in with who they are. I just, I feel bad that they don't have a card, because, like, Barry Riches is insane. Well, like, Sarian has it. Yeah, and... Barry Riches. Um, the other one that they ex that they exhaust and move three to the common supply... They've got the guys who you get to forge it based on the amber on creatures. They've got Imperial Forge. And I love Sanctum, don't get me wrong. I love Sanctum. Sanctum. was the original capturers. I just they feel like have... like even a rare card that had, <clears throat> you know, exhaust a Sanctum creature. If it was an action without a pip, exhaust a Sanctum creature, move all amber from that creature to, your, to the common supply. If there's 10 captured amber, forge a key and... Put it mm -hmm. in the common supply. Yeah. Or, or 12 even. Mm -hmm. Make it double. But yeah. At least. Or something like if you captured six or more amber this turn, forge a key at plus two cost. Yeah. There you go. I just. Yeah. All right. I'm a big fan of Sanctum. Is it your turn to flip? Yep. Me too. It's just unfortunate. And I love Free Markets, Cleansing Wave, um, the new Virtuous Works. Tails. Jeez. <laughs> We've opened 10 decks tonight, Tom. Yeah. We're getting faster, guys. Bear with us. Um, next week, we'll probably have to do the Key, key Racken. Um, I may have another box come. Okay. I am not keeping this. I want to. Maybe I do. Yeah, I guess I, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. This is when I press this button, Tom. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. I'm going to keep it as well I'm going to play theory or conjecture archive the two car top archive the top two cards of your deck logos infomorph chronophage ready draw two Untamed. Ritual of Balance. Gives you as Omega. Chronophage. Your opponent's creatures and artifacts gain Omega. Okay. Then 
I will play him. Gain two and draw one. Okay. Hmm. Is there something else in here? Let's try it. Shadows. Play trickle down theory to raise the tide. Play mug, amber pip, draw a card. Um, Blah, blah, blah. Basically deal two damage to deep water ruin. Play free booter fay. Already. Draw two. Pass turn. Does he do? Uh, raise play, raise the tide, reap if the tide is high, steal one. Untamed trade here. Mookling. Genetic drift to gain one. Giving him two plus one power counters. Mm -hmm. Ritual of Balance, Way of the Pixie, draw four. Unfathomable. Play Blue Cant, Flame Gill Enforcer, Photic Raider, use the capture icon to capture there, and then he will capture two. And then I'm going to play Abandoned Ship. Return a creature to its owner's hand. If the tide is high, return four instead. So the thing here is I have to return four. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to return Mookling, Photic Raider. Blue Camp and Flame Gill Enforcer. And then I'm going to play Blue Camp, Flame Gill Enforcer, Photic Raider to capture one onto the Flame Gill Enforcer, and then another onto Photic Raider. I will ready. Draw four and pass turn. Sanctum. Marshall Ewer to raise the tide. Bulwark. Barrister Joya. General Zalvador. Draw three. Pass turn. Um, unfathomable. Under pressure on Marshall Ewer. What does that say? Uh, this creature cannot ready. Okay. Oh. Flame Gill's mad. I'm going to raise the tide. Flame Gill Enforcer is going to fight and kill Barrister Joya. Use the Enrage, take five. And 
Valucanth is going to reap to exhaust Bulwark and each of its neighbors. And Photic Raider is going to eat. I will ready, shed a chain, and draw none. I have five. Untamed. Persistence hunting. Four unfathomable. Sea frog. Good book. Monkling. Mookling. Mookling. I'll draw four. Not him. I will call shadows. I will reap with freebooter fay since the tide is high. I steal one. I will scooped the mookling to kill it. Play blatant thievery with a pip. Oh, enrage an enemy creature. So I'll make full work real mad. I'll play another blatant thievery. Draw a card. And make Sea Frog real mad. Draw three, draw two, and check with ten. Logos picking up my archive. Show me what I get. Science. Theory. I really don't have a key. No. I have no amber. No. Okay. Grand melee. So I gain one from the science. Destroy each creature that does not share a house with at least one of its neighbors. So three for me. This one and this one. Hydro Catagogger. Static Charge.
Mr. Seaberg. <laughs> Old age. The ice waving. And we draw five. Okay. Count forward for six. I'm going to call Logos. Trickle down theory to gain one because he's out six. And that's so, at the beginning of my turn. That's at the beginning of my turn. It's creature gain. So, okay. My bad. Don't worry. Play Holy Gad. Hydro Cataloger. Play Positron Bolt on P.I. Swevin. Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. Nope, he doesn't take anything. He's got two armor. And then I'm going to play Data Forge. Forge a key at 17, 6 key. Don't have it. Close. Close. No cigar. No ready. Shed the last chain. And draw four. Checking the fate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we stream, we try and stream every week on Thursdays. Uh, obviously, life gets in the way sometimes. Um, to be quite honest, Tom and I aren't as dedicated as some other people, but we try and stream every week. We've been doing this since 2018. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was fall of 2018. Yeah, no, been... was, was it fall of 2019? Yeah, 19. 19. It was fall of 19, like in November when we started this. Yeah, because that's right. We went to Vegas, and on the way back, we came up with the re uh, idea to stream. So, we've been we were really good. We went to two a days for a while. Unfortunately, I live sixty miles away from where we stream, so um, we can't stream as often. But we can once a week, so we try and do it every week. So, um, yeah. I'm glad you love it. Like, thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, I, I being here. yeah, I drive 120 miles a day. Yep. Fortunately, it's in the town where I work. So, um, but I have 120 mile commute. So, <laughs> sanctum. But we love playing KeyForge, and yeah, so. Lady. Old of Wonder. Oh, Lady Lorena's back? Awesome. Cleansing Wave. To capture one here. One, two, three. Yeah, much appreciated, all everybody watching. Like we seriously from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. Exactly. He has, Bulwark has Assault 2 as well, correct? Bul Bulwark. Yes, Bulwark has Assault 2. That doesn't really matter. Bulwark's going to trade here. Okay. No, Bulwark's going to Assault him down. And live. Whoa, because he's got 4 already. And he loses the enraged. Yep. That's yours. Then re... And I will draw three. Okay. And you forge. Forge. Hmm.
Thanks yeah. for the gifted sub, as it NK. Thank you very, very much. Very much appreciate it. Thank you. Really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, seriously. Like, haven't been able to avoid shadows. And don't get me wrong. I'm just fine with shadows. I just get sick of playing it. Yeah. Kind of like Untamed for Tom. We're very whiny when a new set comes out. Um, I well, know I'm very whiny. I don't mind Untamed. It's just, I just drew five decks in a row with it in it. Oh, Orb of Wonders back too? Yeah. Nice. Um, I guess that's the best play. I'm going to call Logos Information Exchange to steal one. Play Edie. Capture, capture. And archive that. Then I'm going to discard Bill Torgan. And then I am going to reap with Old Egad. Ready. Draw five. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for tuning in, man. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Logos. Pop an orb of wonder. <laughs> what? Was it the bottom card that you wanted? Or is there no. I already played it. I must have. Or it's in a different deck. What are you looking for? Um, I thought I had. Logos, um, damage in Logos, but I do not. Oh. Know. I will get. Anomaly Exploiter. You don't have to tell me. Well, I'm going to play it. Right, but... Yep. Just so everybody knows, <laughs> you don't have to tell a person. Yep. All you can verify is that a card was put from the deck into their hand. Old age. He's going to run into Eddie. Okay. Dying. Wording each of his neighbors. I'm going to reap here. Killing Eddie. Since it killed him, I raise the tide. Yep. Because I raised the tide. You archive too, because we have two Hydra catalogers on board. Okay.
Nobody cares for you. Uh, Mr. Seberg again. <laughs> Zoiberg. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Science. Submersive. So instead of gaining one, I lose two. Jeez. Draw three. Okay. I am going to call Unfathomable. Pick up the archive. Raise the title, take the chains, and archive the top two. Going to play Play bubbles, and I'm going to put Australis Seaborg on top of your deck. Play Guilt Spine Netcaster. Blue Cantha is going to reap. I'm going to exhaust these three creatures. Going to play Sink or Swim to exhaust Bulwark and eat each of his neighbors. And then I'm going to play Call of the Void. Going to destroy an exhausted, exhaust a creature if it was already exhausted, destroyed instead, and its controller loses one. I'm going to destroy a Marshal you were and make you lose one. turn I will ready shed a chain and draw to pestle Untamed, picking up my archive. Raising the tide. Play Shalonia, capturing one here. Play Word of Tree, Youngest Bear, Witch of the Dawn, get back Deep Water Gruen, for three. Draw two, shed, or draw one, shed a chain. Um, you should have archived that when you raise the tide, and then shuffle and draw one. Okay. Should 
so I can't archive to see if right because it's not draw because you only shuffle on a draw. Gotcha. worth a card. No, because I get that card anyway. Let me see how many are left. Ooh. And I get to see them all, so that's fun. Okay. I am going to call Shadows. Trickle down theory to gain one. Raise the tide. Myself three chains, archive those two. Play loot or pillage to steal one. Play hard Simpson. Play dead man's chest, gain one, capture one. Uh, put four onto it, and then deal two damage to a creature. Going to deal two damage to Hard Simpson to steal two. Oh, after he's dealt damage, steal one. So it steals one. And that's my turn. I'm going to check with eight. Ready. Shed a chain and draw three. Can't stop you. No amber control ever. And I'd finally drawn it. The the final analysis so that I could dead man's chest. No amber control in that deck. Ritual balance, which is one. Oh yeah. I have yeah, two had... capture icons, but I didn't have any. Yeah. Cleansing Wave, and my other one was already out. This deck hates capture. With the bubbles and the the frickin' um, blatant thieveries. That's crazy. Okay, Tom, I have a question. Do we want to spoil these guys, or do we want to make them wait for the last two? Do we want to open them now? We can open them so up. they can get a spoiler for next stream, see what we're playing, or do you think we should wait? Let's just open them. We went through that whole box. Yep. We can just open them and leave them here for next week. Okay. I can't believe we flew through that box so fast. Yeah, as we get more comfortable. Of course, we had the same freaking three houses every time. Yep. I think we only had four houses. Uh, Logo, Sanctum, Untamed, Shadows, Unfathomable, Saurian. I guess we did. Star Alliance. We had all seven tonight. I got Untamed again. Red Pompe Haas. I got Untamed again. The Cleverly Scaling Justiciar. So we only had one deck that didn't have Untamed. I thought we had two. Look at yours. I'd bet you a dollar we only got one that didn't have it. Yeah, I thought I had two, but I could be wrong. So the last one didn't have Untamed, and the one before it had Untamed. The one before it had Untamed. 
The one before it had untamed, so that's one, two, three, four. And the one before it had untamed, I'm sure. Yep. Every one of mine did. Okay. So one. So we we like untamed around here. Eleven days. Well, they did come from Canada, so that makes sense. They have like so much wilderness that like <laughs> Is that what it was? That's what it was. We did get quite a bit of unfathomable, which I'm okay with. I'm just gonna sleeve it up. Because I don't know the cards well enough. And then we can just hop off right on the next stream. So next time, guys, we will be doing the key racking unless we can pull some strings and get some. Um, before. Before our next stream on Thursday. Which. Tom might have some get here between now and then. Hey, youngest bear, which is the dawn. I'm so used to this start. Like, I'm so used to youngest bear, which is the dawn. Way of the pixie, the fittest. Nothing shocking. Youngest bear, which of the dawn, the fittest. <laughs> Reaper so, persistence hunting. Oh, I got double nucling instead. I got double myth, mythlobe, key frog. Infighting, double infighting. Old Patty. Oh, I got punctuated in equilibrium this nice. time. Nice. Instrument of silence. I think we got one I haven't seen before. After Venetator Altrub, Altub is dealt damage, but the tide is low, exalt him. He's a 7 2 Saurian. I see him. Yeah. Venator Altum, yeah. Reach advantage. Play if the tide is high, a friendly creature captures three, otherwise raise the tide. Wakolia. Creep. Keys cost plus two during your opponent's next turn. Some Storm Surge, some Kakoa. Rekazil's Chant. Have you had this one? Uh uh. Exhaust a creature. If the tide is high, exhaust each creature instead. Oh, and it has I have had that. Two. I did have that last game. That was a rough one. While the tide is high, you may spend amber on friendly creatures as if it were in your pool. Medicus Lacus. Lacus. I got double of that. Thunder Toe. I like that one. I like the name. Magistra Vita. Play, reap. You may exalt a friendly non saurian creature. If you do, reap with it. Sleep with the fishes. Destroy each exhausted creature. Play exhaust a creature. If the tide is high, exhaust each. Oh, no. Complain about board wipes. Oh, I got the, the Kraken. Exhaust two friendly, unfathomable creatures. If you do not, destroy to leaky Kraken on play. Mm -hmm. Fight reap, deal two with two splash. Taniwa. Reap, destroy a friendly creature and gain one. On fight and reap. That's pretty good. Oh, Tom. Tom. What? Effigy of Melaruk. After an enemy creature reaps, put an awakening encounter on Effigy of Melaruk. Nice. If there are six or more awakening encounters on Effigy of Melaruk, move it to a flank of your battle line as a creature with 100 power and 100 armor. Its text box is considered blank. Jeez. I guess he's not gonna die. I really wish there's a there's that untamed card that destroy a friendly creature, draw cards equal to half its power. Who cares if it's rounded up or down? And how do you get counters on him? Uh, by you reaping after an enemy creature reaps. Got final analysis. Bilge warden. Not a fan of Bill Jordan so far. Armadrone, I like Armadrone. Isotropic Core is good. Binary Moray. Here's how I get rid of that. Wipe clear. Deal one damage to each in each creature. Destroy each upgrade. <laughs> That's an upgrade, right? No, it's an item. Artifact. 
<laughs> oh. This is cool. After you... Binary Moray. After you raise the tide, ready Binary Moray. After your opponent raises the tide, exhaust Binary Moray. Reap. Archive a card. Hmm. It's especially good with Bilge Warden. So if you start your turn with Binary Moray ready, yep. you reap, you archive a card. Gain one, archive a card. Okay. Play Bilge Warden. That goes, he's exhausted, but nothing else happens. Then if you have something else that writ like, especially if you have two of them, archive two cards. Play that, they exhaust, but it doesn't matter. And then if you have a something that raises the tide, or even three chains might be worth that many cards to you. Yeah. Oh, I got the I got the combo, Tom. Groundbreaking discovery, reckless experimentation, rooftop laboratory. Nice. And Dr. Veruchter. Yeah, I think you might beat me. Oh, with him and rooftop laboratory, he's a scientist, so you could play him, swap the tide, reap. Ready these two because you're raising the tide. Reap again. That's four archived cards. Nice. I mean, that's pretty good. Oh, P.I. Swevin with the rooftop. Okay. That's the combo. <laughs> we shouldn't open them now. You got the combo all figured out this week. Yeah, but now all I want to do is play them. There you go. Okay, guys. Thanks Thank you for so being much. here. We, we'll sleep we like you week. an awful lot. You're amazing. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll have this up on YouTube tomorrow. Sorry about last week. Uh, it was my birthday and I didn't get it uploaded um, until the uh, Sunday. But I'll try and get this one and have it uploaded and ready on YouTube tomorrow. If you have not follow, subscribed to our channel on YouTube, please do. Especially if you're only catching part of our streams because the rest of it they're easy to view on YouTube. I do not re-upload things to Twitch. Um, sorry about that. If you want us to re-upload things to Twitch, let us know. Let us know. Or leave us a comment on the YouTube video. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so easy on YouTube, though. Yeah. We like you all. You're wonderful people. Thank you. And Thanks have for a the good follows. evening. Be safe.